Our next guest is a uh, talented gentleman who wrote and stars in a new film entitled Hot Fuzz. It opens on Friday. Please say hello to Simon Pegg. Tell us uh, a little bit about yourself. You're from uh, England. What part of England? I'm from Gloucester. Gloucester. Which is a small town, actually. Weirdly enough, the small town news thing really struck ah, a chord. Ah, perfect. Um, it's actually a city, officially, but um, it just means we've got more than 10 village idiots. Mm -hmm. That's how you... <laughs> That's the designation. That's how you qualify in the UK. Uh -huh. I see. Yeah. And uh, do, you, do you get your stuff, a family there? You get home to visit? My mum lives there. I go back for, uh, for Christmas and stuff mm -hmm. from, mm -hmm. uh, from time to time, uh, which is always <laughs> a lot of fun, particularly, uh, I think, the year before last, when I accidentally exposed myself to my family. <laughs> no, when you, when you exposed yourself, meaning what, what exactly? It was probably the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life. We were sat, the whole family, watching TV, mm -hmm. um, my mum, my mother-in-law, my wife, my auntie, my cousin and my sister. I'm rubbishing in this box and I find a videotape and I think, hey, what's this? I've not seen what's on here. Yeah. Let's put it on in front of the whole family and see. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you're way ahead of me now. Um, <laughs> so I put it in the video and we're watching it. It's a nice sort of me and my wife on holiday together and we're at the beach and then we're sort of in our, in our room, sort of like getting ready to go out, and we're doing this thing where we're saying, she's saying, this is my dress, it's from such and such, and these are my shoes. Cuts on to me, I say, here's my penis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, <laughs> I kind of, <clears throat> I heard myself say it, and at that point, time really slowed down for me. I, <laughs> I do, <laughs> I have a memory of going, no! <laughs> <laughs> Leaping over to the video, knowing that I wasn't going to get there sort of oh in time. My. And I, so then I tried to distract them uh -huh. by going, blah, 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 like this. But, you know, they were looking at the TV going, like that. So, uh, and sure enough, I, I unzipped my trousers and I think I even waved it around, which kind of. <laughs> yeah. And it was terrible. It was so. I think I was so embarrassed. I blushed so much, my face bled. It was just. It was incredible. <laughs> My sister kind of... My sister looked away. Yeah. She didn't want to see that, you know. <laughs> which is weird, because it's a small town. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> I was wanting one of those! <laughs> I wanted one of those. <laughs> and then my, my mum my mom said, hey, that's changed. Uh -huh. uh, uh, which was encouraging. Uh, and then, yeah. then my mother-in-law sealed the deal by saying, can you wind that back? I didn't have my glasses on. Oh. <laughs> Well, you've done it. You've got this now. It's in the books from now on, isn't it? Yeah. It's a, I, I kind of, you know, thought if ever I get to be on this show, at least I could tell that story. It's a pretty so. good one. <laughs> pretty good one. Now, the, uh, the, the first film, Shaun of the Dead. Yes. And, <clears throat> and your co-star in that was uh, Nick, Nick Frost? Nick Frost, yeah. My, and, my... and you guys were buddies beforehand, obviously. Yeah, I met him. He was a waiter. Weirdly, he was a waiter that didn't want to be an actor. Now, that's rare. Yeah, yes. Uh, <laughs> particularly in L.A., as I found out. Ah. Um, but he, he was just a really funny guy, and, and he was interested in doing a stand-up uh, stand comedy. I was a stand-up at the time, and I said, hey, I'll come and, you know, help you, and got him a few gigs. And he, he sort of... He didn't really take to it, because it was, you know, London is, is a... You know, it's the, the bear pit of the stand-up scene. And he went on, did, five, did ten gigs, five very good, five bad. Um, he actually, his response to a heckler was to walk into the crowd and punch him in the face. Ah. <laughs> Tough on business. Yeah, yeah, I said, when I said put him down, I didn't mean kind of <laughs> put him down, you know. Uh, so he kind of, uh, he gave that up. And then I wrote him a part in a sitcom we had in, in the UK called Spaced and sort of encouraged him to be an actor because I thought he was mm. really talented. And now he's, you know... So it worked out quite well. Yeah. And, and there was a time when you, you guys were actually, uh, you, you lived together, you were, <laughs> it's the old struggling uh, uh, actor yeah. comedy story. Exactly. I think, I think this is why, you know, we have a, when you watch Hot Fuzz, there, we do a lot, we play a lot on the whole sort of, you know, the homoerotic tension you get in films like Lethal Weapon and, you know, there's always that little, <laughs> it's a romance, come on. <laughs> if, if you watch Lethal Weapon again, Mel Gibson at the end is stripped to the waist, soaking wet, being cradled by Danny Glover, who's saying, I've got you, I've got you. Yeah. Well, there you go. Case closed. So we... <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. We, uh, we, we, we shared a house for a while, and, and I had to move in with him because I got thrown out of my apartment. I slept on the floor of his bedroom, and then he said, come on, we'll sleep end-to-end because -end it's more comfortable. Yeah. So we slept end-to-end. -end. Yeah. Then we ended up sleeping just next to each other. Mm. Within six weeks, we were spooning. And I... <laughs> <laughs> Some, 
some mornings I didn't know where I began and he ended, if you know what I mean. Uh, no. I, I recommend it. I recommend it to all straight guys just to, just to, just to get in bed with your best friend and realise that it's OK to cuddle. Uh -huh. <laughs> I see. Had, uh, had he seen the videotape? <laughs> no, well... All right. He, uh... Let's take a look here. Hot Fuzz, it opens uh, Friday. Uh, a, a real uh, kind of a bulldog of a crime fighter in London gets transferred to a small community, and then the fun begins. That's right. Yeah. Ironically, this, I think the clip is about an escaped swan, which goes back uh, an to escape the... An escaped swan. Uh, small town news, sure. Small town news. Hot <laughs> Fuzz opens on Friday. Nice meeting you. It's great to be here. Thank you very much. Simon Pegg, ladies and gentlemen.